Hello everyone, this is Daily Developing and today we're going to be going over a problem that was asked by Google. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So in this problem, you have an infinite 2D grid where you can move in any of the eight directions. So let's take one point, right? You can travel to any of the adjacent points. So you can travel, if you know how to play chess, then you can pretty much travel just like the king. You can travel to any of the adjacent squares. And so now you're given a sequence of points and their order in which you need to cover the points. And then you have to give the minimum number of steps in which you can achieve it. You start from the first point, then you have to go to the second point, and then you have to go to the third point. So number of points could be infinite. Um, we can have any number of points and you have to follow that sequence. So for example, from the start, you need to go to the first point first, then you can only go to the second point and then to the third point. So you cannot go to the second point, then first point, then third point. No, it needs to be in the same order. And here's how the input is taken. So it's gonna be array of points and I can put any number of points I want, right? So any number of points would work here. And the idea is after you take the sequence, it has to return the minimum number of steps it takes to cover, cover this, right? So in this case, for example, it takes two steps. You know, you only need one step from this point to this point, and then one step from this point to this point. Okay, so I encourage you guys to stop the video, try to solve it yourself, and then come back to me. Okay, so uh, if you haven't paused the video yet, do so now because I'm going to be going over the solution. So uh, let's take let's take this grid, okay? First thing that I want to do is I want to write a function that will calculate the minimum of steps between just two points. So let's say we have this point right here and the end point here. Um, we could go the long way, which is three steps to the right and two steps up, but that would take in total five steps. And, you know, we can actually travel faster. And to travel faster, what we have to do is, is instead of going three to the right and two to the up, we need to do two to the right and two to the up simultaneously. In other words, we need to go diagonally. So what we have to do is diagonal movements in this case are the most efficient because not only are you going to the right, you're also going up. So you're doing two things at the same time. And so what we have to do really is we have to maximize the number of times that we go diagonally. And in this case, uh, the quickest way to solve this problem is we just have to look at how many steps we need to do uh, on the x-axis. So for example, in this case, we need, we need to cover three steps on the x-axis and two steps on the y-axis. And what then we have to do is we have to pick the biggest number. In this case, three is more than two. So that means the two minimum number of steps is three under this equation. Um, and this is, by the way, will be true on all of them. You can pick any points and you will look, okay, what are number of steps you need to do over X axis, over the Y axis. And then you have to pick the, whichever is highest. That would be the minimum steps that are necessary. So now I'm going to be, uh, let's implement this function. Let's create definition uh, definition of uh, minimum minimum steps to second point, which will take the starting point and the finishing point. And here, what we have to do is, I want to see what's the change in x. In other words, how many steps do I have to um, do on the x-axis? And in order to achieve uh, achieve that, we just need an absolute value of start zero, right, minus finish zero. So we know the x is the zeroth value, right? So in this case, it'll be a tuple in where zeroth is the x and first one is the y. So we're just gonna take these two, out of these two tuples, we wanna compare the first x minus second x. And we're doing the absolute steps because we can't have negative steps, right? We can't just do negative two steps. It's just convert that to two steps. Right? So for example, going to the left, it's not negative one step, it's still one step to go to the left side. 
even though even though it's going to the left even though you're decreasing x it's still one step right and now what we need is now we need change in y which again will be the absolute value in this case start off first minus finish first right now we're subtracting the y values and again we need to do the absolute value because even if we go down that's not negative one step going down is still one step and then we just have to return the highest number so change in y and change in x right whichever is the highest that would be the minimum steps um, to go to the second point okay so now we have the function that actually can tell what's the minimum step necessary to go from one point to another now we actually need a second function well i want to create a second function that would that would follow the sequence right where we can give the sequence of points like so and then it'll give you minimum steps necessary to follow the entire sequence now we're going to create definition minimum minimum steps for the sequence it'll take an array of points and what i want to do here is minimum let's do a minimum steps start from zero now we want to loop through every single point here so for i in range from zero to length of array minus one and here i'll show you why we need to do minus one so we don't have to go to, through the whole array we just need the before the last point and the reason is because so minimum steps right equals or we need to add second point we're going to take the current point that would be the starting point and then the next point will be all right so this is the reason why we only go for minus one so in other words if we if we choose length of array then in here it's going to go out of the bounds right so we, once it goes to the last last value and then we call i plus one well it's just going to return out of bounds because it doesn't exist right we just reached the limit so for that reason we need to do minus one so that way this plus one is offset by the idea that we are subtracting one here right so now what we're doing is pretty much we're taking the pair right so we do okay let's take the first first and second point you know what's the minimum steps and add it to minimum steps now let's take this guy what's the minimum steps to go from here to here add it here and then it's just gonna keep going right and then what we have to do is just return min steps All right now let's see if it works if ideally if we put if we put this thing here print and put the array and now print it all right so you returned two so now we can try you know you can play around with the values here um and the thing is this function works so we just finished a google interview question uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please put thumbs up it helps me in the youtube algorithm and subscribe all right see you later